I'm Father Robert Balasser, the digital Jesuit host of This Week in Enterprise Tech on the Twit TV network. I'm at Enterprise Connect 2016 in Orlando, Florida, and I'm sitting next to Neil Livonius, the Director of Product Marketing for Ring Central. Neil, thank you very much for speaking with us. Oh, thank you for having us. We're, we're extremely excited to be here. Now, this, this is a good show for uh, Ring Central. You've made a, a few very important announcements. Can you talk about them? Sure. So, we're, we're excited to announce a couple different things. So, first of all, um, our platform. Our platform, we think, is, is the future of cloud communications and business communications in general. And we, uh, we're excited to announce that the adoption of our platform has really taken off and we're currently seeing over one million API calls a day. Um, so that's, that's fantastic to see that, uh, that adoption within, within our customer base and partners. Secondly, uh, we recently announced uh, that we are now in a, a global cloud communications company. Primary, we used to be focused only in the US and Canada and the UK, and now we've brought our services to over 12, to 12 countries and plan to be in 37 countries by the end of this year. Uh, one of the things that we've seen inside this pavilion as uh, the, the various vendors have come for their interviews is Ring Central gets mentioned an awful lot. You've worked hard on developing your partnerships. How does that jive with, with your expansion into the global marketplace? So partners are very important to us. And we, we classify partners in a couple different areas. So we have our ISV partners that are leveraging our platform to develop applications and integrations into their, uh, into their portfolio products. And then we also have partners that uh, also help us resell, sell, um, and support our, our products uh, around the world. So people like Ingram Micro, Westcon, and, and others are, are invaluable when it comes to getting the message out. Um, we also partner with companies like Microsoft and Google uh, because, of course, they own business productivity in the space that we're selling business communications into. So those relationships are important uh, to make sure that we have seamless integration, that people can uh, leverage those back office applications and uh, surround it with collaboration tools and to really, um, to really bring productivity to the next level. Let's talk about leveraging that productivity because you see, especially over the last 18 months, as it's advanced so quickly and turned into something that uh, even three years ago we wouldn't have recognized uh, with, with the addition of um, hybrid installations, uh, on-premise, in cloud, uh, everything as a service being sort of the, uh, the, the taste of the day. Right. Where have you seen bad implementations? As, as you see customers pushing forward to integrating UC into their productivity suites, what's the most common mistake that gets made? Well, I think what's been very difficult for IT when it comes to deploying UC is there's so many options out there uh, that they're trying to figure out how do they shoehorn these new technologies into their existing uh, uh, legacy systems, if you will. Um, you know, the, and that becomes a very difficult proposition for them to manage. You have all these disparate systems, uh, and you're having to deal with all of these disparate vendors that, that put the solution together. And, it's, and it seems to be wasteful from a productivity and efficiency perspective. And uh, what we're seeing, uh, at least from our, our perspective as a, as a born in the cloud provider, that there's a real value proposition there for people to adopt a cloud solution and start the consolidation of all of those services into a single vendor, um, which uh, really enhances not only the user experience of the information worker taking advantage of our product, but also makes the job of the IT manager much easier. I want to touch on something that you mentioned, that uh, Ring Central is a born in the cloud provider. It, it, it can sound like a throwaway line, but that's actually important. It's very important. Where, where do you think some of the traditional companies who do telco, who do have come into UC, where do they struggle in coming into the cloud rather than being born in the cloud? Uh, that's a very interesting question. So, I, you know, in my opinion, there's a couple different areas where I think they really struggle in making the transition. First and foremost, it's the culture of the company itself. So you have everybody working uh, who, who came up developing software and hardware to be deployed on premise, and they don't quite make the transition to the cloud. Uh, for some particular reason, because there's a lot of legacy and investment in delivering that on-premise equipment. So you have your channel organization, you have distribution, fulfillment, licensing, uh, relationships with my own internal vendors that are, that are helping me build this product. So uh, we see that being probably the, the primary challenge. And then once they do get to the cloud, 
then they start having channel conflict because they have this legacy channel uh, that has been selling this on-premise equipment. And then usually when you go to the cloud, you start dabbling in how do I sell direct? And then you, you start creating sales and channel conflict there. And that can be difficult to overcome. And we've seen several uh, of, of, of the companies in this space uh, try several times, fail, go back, regroup, try to go back out to market again. And uh, you know, I don't know if some of them will ever get there. We've been speaking with Neil Livonius, Director of Product Marketing for Ring Central. I want to thank you very much for spending time with us, yeah. for, for sharing your vision for the company and your tech. If they wanted to find out more about Ring Central, how you could help them with their latest deployment, where can they go? Um, well, they can go to our website, ringcentral.com. Neil, thanks again. Enjoy the rest of the show, and you keep coming back because we've got more from Orlando, Florida. <laughs>